it's time for you guys to find out about Texas. the blacksmith competition. Texas. Ten minutes you. early. Oh. This is the meeting. <laughs> I want to get started on time. Just, just, you're going to need every minute you've got. <laughs> We're going to take one cubic inch of old steel. This is old railing from somewhere in Utah that we have salvaged. Vintage steel, which matters not one whit for the rest of the evening. So you, you sure it's steel and not wrought iron? I do. Okay. I, I am sure, yes. It is steel. It's not that old. Um, these were all cut on the same jig. Everyone is within five or seven thousandths, the same size. One cubic inch. You are going to hold this by some means and mash it down into a round disc of sheet metal. Three and a half to four inches is the target diameter. And round is the and target shape. Round is the target shape. <laughs> Said round should be made into a dish, bowl, cup. Description of your choice, but meaning concave on one side, convex on the other, not flat. <laughs> if you don't get to that and it's just flat and smooth, but round, points will be awarded. But, I was thinking little ball, but could be small boat. Whatever, I don't care what you call it. It should be round. It should be continuously round. This is square. This is really no fun to hold on to. Stand. What, what is the judging criteria? Round, smooth, dished, depth, in case of a uh, tie, we're going to go with volume. On your mark, get set, four.
not the best thing, it's not the deepest dip. It's very good. It's very consistent in thickness. I mean, he was getting there evenly. Um, I, I, you know, I, I come up with this out of the dementia of my mind. And, you know, I had, I had never done this. I, you know, you saw what I did. The ones that won here beat me. You know, but I understand how awkward and miserable this is to do with borrowed tools. <laughs> and you all rose to the occasion. There's really not a bad thing done here. I, I commend you all, each and every one, for stepping up, doing this. I hope you learned something. And if you need to, if you need to hate somebody, I can live with that. <laughs> you know, I'm going to go home and I don't have to live with any of them. <laughs> You know, everyone who did this, we, we got first timers, we got old timers, we, we've got demonstrators, we got we've, you know, everybody, you know, really stepped up. Don't shut up. And I'm, I'm amazed at the quality that we got on something that is really deceptively difficult. Come on, Paul, I want to get out in the tent. Let's get this. <laughs> Paul, shut up! A pair of ways. But anyway, so. Don't feel bad. They're, we're not going to announce losers. There's there are no losers. Every one of you stood up and you played the game. And, and thank you so much. But the person that is getting the first prize awarded, and then it was a difficult decision, was number three. The, the, the number three is... Or the number two is number three, John Switzer. I hope you don't have this book already. John Switzer! Oh, oh. Of the three winners, he got the largest disc. You know, this, this is a fine piece. Very round, very big, super simple. And number, number two is number one. It is, it is. Woo! Good depth. I, you know, I mean, it, it's it's a challenge. Yeah. To, to, <laughs> yeah. But overall, the really the, the the prettiest piece here, and it, it's not everybody. All, all three of the winners here got first in a category, and for smooth and round and even consistency, number nine, Victor Carrazzo. <laughs> Take it home and make something out of it. 